Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Therefore, I believe there is a best approach to managing your portfolio. Taking gains and developing an exit strategy have been major topics of my recent writings. However, many of the comments on the videos ask why someone would ever sell their possessions if they knew their genuine value. I believe the opinion is well-deserved, insightful, and one that I agree with to a large extent. I will never sell my XRP, as I've stated before. Despite the fact that I am cashing out during this bull run, not a single XRP has been touched. I am not selling any tokens because I truly believe in the value of XRP. Therefore, it is important to take profits as you go along and maintain a well-balanced portfolio. We may put a lot of effort into making money, you know. However, we fail to consider the inverse of this, what about the bag in question? Oh, and the cryptocurrency we're not selling. Plus, in the old markets, you literally had to keep the cash on hand, it wouldn't do anything, you just had to keep it that way. In addition to doing nothing, it would lose value due to inflation, which is something you are already aware of. Furthermore, the purchasing power of your assets maintained in a bank account solely in cash may decrease with time. In the same way, that would have applied to this with the exception that it isn't. I brought up one point several times, so it's safe to say that we haven't ignored it. However, because we have been concentrating on profit taking, let us now shift our attention to the flip side. As a matter of fact, I once heard a truly remarkable phrase from someone, maybe even a mentor of mine, during a video chat, and it made me realize how important it is to have some earnings in your portfolio so that you can enjoy life. Additionally, she emphasized the need of taking profits and avoiding excessive waiting in order to maintain a quality of life. As if you're making a temporary sacrifice in order to avoid making a longer-term sacrifice. In contrast, imagine if there was no immediate need to give up anything. Taking profits is certainly a part of the process. So, in my opinion, the best way to manage a portfolio is to extract profits while also holding on to some assets for potential future use. However, this is an exceptional case. The advent of crypto and blockchain technology has opened up great possibilities, including the possibility of extreme price swings, which, of course, can lead to both financial gain and loss for those who aren't prepared. However, this alternate choice is now being offered to us. Additionally, we have the option to make use of the assets that we are not selling. When you consider cashing out of your cryptocurrency holdings and putting that money into a stable coin or another asset, you are essentially redistributing your assets in a portfolio. And typically, those assets would be ones that generate interest or passive income. For example, you could use them to buy a piece of property or put them into other investments that would eventually pay out. If you wanted to do those things using the old system, you'd have to get out of the market. However, the opportunity to buy assets with a positive cash flow and have fun in the near term has been provided to us. However, we are also considering our stagnant portfolio and the possibility of putting it to work for us by way of an AM, for instance, for XRP on the XRPL, that would add liquidity to the market and pay you a yield. Additionally, there are a plethora of alternative approaches that we might take, the possibilities are endless. Also, we're still planning for the future, so it's hard to talk about these things right now. However, the reality is still far away from where we are. Therefore, I am filled with hope for the future and its manifestations. When you consider tokenization and the returns that can be obtained from simply possessing tokenized physical assets, it becomes clear. Buying a residence may no longer be necessary if you decide to enter the real estate industry. Perhaps you can avoid spending cryptocurrency altogether by delegating liquidity, which can then fuel an ongoing investing program. You want to put your money into Austin, Texas, because you think it will continue to grow and prosper, just like it did before. The produce from my MMM might be put to good use by funding my ongoing endeavors in St. Austin, where I also receive a yield. If you're considering putting your holdings into an AMM, for instance, you can expect a return on your investment. More assets that generate yield can be acquired with the money from the AMM. It's a never-ending cycle that can occur solely because this is a novel asset class in crypto and blockchain that offers us the chance to multiply our returns through this innovative technology. 
including assets that are not being sold. That's stunning. This is a life-changing chance. And my impression is that it's completely oblivious. While I respect that everyone has the right to their own opinions, I find this to be somewhat myopic. I keep saying it, but refusing to pocket any money is, in my opinion, completely short-sighted. It doesn't make sense to sacrifice one's quality of life in order to achieve another. There ought to be a balance, and you ought to be content with that balance. I also think it's foolish to take out your whole portfolio in profits. We discussed this extensively, a little aside on this matter. The live exit strategy workshop took place yesterday. And it was out of this world. Please share your experience if you were able to attend by leaving a comment below. So far, it has been the most exciting thing I have done. I think everyone saw the value, and they're all moving forward with the plan's construction because of it. I mean, thinking of ways to hold on to some, sell others, and figure out where to sell them. I think it's awesome. You don't have to be present during the live broadcast to watch it all, it will be available on demand. I enjoyed it. However, the description includes the link. However, it is important to have a well-rounded portfolio and a strategy to complement it. Oh my gosh, the relief from stress that comes from having definite numbers and guidelines that align with your beliefs and feelings is incredible. You know, and then there's the possibility of discovering just how near you are to living the life you see for yourself. Plus, I'd be able to claim that the assets I'm keeping would be useful in other ways. So, it's a fantastic plan. Making an exit strategy and learning how to make the most of the assets you're holding on to are two sides of the same coin, in my opinion. Therefore, I believe I will just leave this one alone. Your attention in seeing this video is greatly appreciated. That is the end of the video. My channel would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe and like it. Goodbye, see you later.